Hey there everybody, it's Mecha Draco coming to you once again with another episode of Observations of Society. And in today's episode, we're actually going to be discussing Observations of Society. And what I mean by that specifically is, is I want to discuss what it is my goals are with this video series. And truth behold, be told, the actual goals of this particular series is a little bit more benign than trying to start a revolution or something else along those particular lines. In all honesty, really what it is, for me anyways, is it's my, my attempt to help me get better at, at speaking. I'm not, as you can probably tell from a lot of my other videos, I'm not extremely articulate. I, I do try my best, but eh, I just don't always do as good as I can. You can probably even tell from a lot of the more recent videos that I have a lot of editing that goes into these videos. Simply because I'm not really, well, like I said, all that articulate. I've also been trying to be a little bit more free-flowing in how I talk. A little bit more myself. As you can probably tell from... My first videos, I've been a lot more fluid, a lot more myself when when I speak. After all, I even though my name is Mecha Draco, I don't want to actually sound like a machine. Now, of course, that is not my only reason for doing these videos. I do have a few others, like for example, I'd like to start working on my motivation. Uh, it's hard for me to motivate myself into doing just about anything. To be honest with you, doing these videos are hard. Like, just these simple videos are extremely difficult to motivate myself to do. But as you've seen so far, I've been doing a pretty decent job at making myself essentially do these videos. Finding the motivation somewhere within me to will power myself through and make the videos. They may not necessarily always come out that great, and they may not necessarily be what I want them to sound like, but they come out at least, and I know that I can at least bring myself to do them and not feel bad about it. There are some other minor things like my perfectionist sense of work when it comes to things like this and artistic nature and other things like that along with my lazy nature of not wanting to actually do anything or just wanting to get things out and trying to find a balance between the two where I can motivate myself to do the video, not be too much perfectionist where I never get it out, but not be so lazy that I just pop out a video that isn't good or that nobody wants to listen to. And in the end, I guess you could say the real reasoning behind it all is that I simply i am just trying to find some motivation in my life and being a little selfish, I guess, to try and help boost the person that is me. Now, a few other reasons I do have for making these videos is because of my workplace, as well as, of course, the fact that I don't get to voice my opinion very often. I live with a family that is not exactly what you would call accepting of alternate opinions. Uh, they're not left-wing by no means, of course, but I'm not right-wing uh, by no means either. And they don't always necessarily like my opinions if they are against theirs. On top of this, at work is pretty much the only time I get to talk and communicate with other people. I get on minds while at work, I have friends at work, I enjoy discussing things with people at work. However, work is not really the best place to discuss certain opinions, especially when it's topics like feminism or, well, even the last art last one I did with about the article on The Guardian. That was a little bit of a touchy subject and something I really couldn't discuss even at work. And even though my friends may have agreed with me in those situations, I still can't really discuss it there because, 
Well, if a supervisor walks by and hears me discussing something like that, well, I could very well lose my job, and I kind of need it. And though I do get to discuss these types of things on mines more easily, even while at work, I can't always discuss it on mines, or more specifically, I can't always discuss it as much as I wish I could, simply because of the fact that I am fairly limited while at work, and especially on the things that I'm allowed to research. And, of course, in the long run, it's still not actually having a vocal conversation with somebody. You're still just having a typing conversation over the internet with somebody who may not necessarily completely agree with you, may agree with you, but in the long run, you're just typing to somebody, and you're not really even having a conversation. You're just sort of typing a message to somebody and then forgetting that it ever happened ever, you know, ever. And these videos are my way of being able to express my opinion outside of my work, outside of my friends, outside of minds. Not necessarily outside of minds, but you know what I mean. Basically, express my opinion vocally for people to hear, even myself to hear, so that we can work on figuring out why my opinion is right, why my opinion is wrong, what my opinion is, more specifically, I guess, me specifically, being able to analyze my opinion a little bit more thoroughly, because I can hear it vocally. I can get someone else to comment on my opinion as well, and tell me why it's wrong, why it's right, uh, and help maybe explain to me what is really the truth behind the subject of my opinion. And I do want to make sure that that is clear. These videos are my opinion. They are the opinion of the average middle class Joe white cis male, if you want to go that far. Just giving my basic opinion on what's going on in the world. From my point of view, from my perspective, what I'm able to observe of society and the opinions that I base off of those observations. I don't know, guys. In the long run, it is what it is, and I hope that you guys enjoy these. And even if you don't, they aren't really necessarily meant for you. They are, in a way, meant for me. Will I ever make subs? Will I ever have... A YouTube following or something like that? Heavens, no, I'm sure. But, you know, it's all good. It's just a matter of trying to open yourself up a little bit. Make yourself a little bit better. And maybe, eventually, I'll be better at something else. Maybe something else will have my calling and maybe just doing this type of thing daily or weekly at least will help me reach that point. But anyways, enough mushy stuff. I hope you guys have had a great holiday. Uh, Merry Christmas, belated Christmas, of course, to, to everybody. I uh, hope you guys have a great New Year's. Not really looking forward to 2017 because I don't see how it could be any better. But I do hope you guys have a good New Year's. And as always, guys, good luck out there and don't forget to have fun.